This is where if you can actually feel your fingertips, it becomes in handy. Otherwise, you could end up, you end up having a blood orange dressing in it. As I say, great. I, the reason I like doing this is because A, I can, and B, it, I think it looks better with the pieces. It, it, just adds, it just helps the presentation. It just depends how much you want to show off. Not me, I mean you. So you got a bit of colour there, you've got the nice orange, you've got the yellow. So if you want to put a bit of lime in, put the lime in as well. And that's going to be, once we strain the juice, we'll use the juice in that on the beef. Right, that is it, basic, what you've got there. I'm going to also do a bit of asparagus, just as a bit of garnish, yeah. Just going to use a little bit of fresh asparagus here uh, as a garnish. And because you use the shape of it, it's not very conducive. Just cut it long, uh, long ways, that way, rather than cutting it across. This is actually raw asparagus. Right. To put this together, I need that cake. Now, the marinade and the beef, it just depends on what, what you're doing. If it, the thinner the beef is, obviously, then the marinade will work straight away. Uh, if it's slightly thicker, it, you don't want it, you don't seriously don't want to be eating chunks of raw beef, so it has to be thin. Right. Our beef has been marinating. As I say, way for thin. On the plate, okay. I'm gonna. The other thing I was gonna do is some uh, fresh orange segments. I love oranges, but I hate having to sit and peel one. To get the segments of any citrus fruit, grapefruit, blood oranges, oranges. Cut a top and a bottom. Once you've cut it, you can actually see where the skin is, there. And by following the shape of the orange, again, a sharp knife helps. You follow the shape round. Yeah, thank you. Follow the shape round. A little bit off there. Okay, have you got a bin? Okay, a bin. Oh, some rubbish. There we go. When you're segmenting as well, you can actually see the little, the little compartments go down. Again, if you've got a really sharp knife, you're not going to be cutting into this. Follow it down one side and follow it down the other, and the two will meet, and then you've got a perfect orange segment or grapefruit or whatever it is you want to use. No, no, I'm just going to put it here, okay. And apart from anything else, you don't want the white skin. So, I'll do four. Make sure you take out the lumpy bits, the wee stones. Have you got the a strainer? Yeah. Cheers, and another bowl. Thank you. That was our... I'd say our orange juice and our bits and pieces from before. You can, if you want, put some lemon juice into this as well, or lime juice if you want, it just depends. But that just shows you how much pulp you get using one of those. Because that's the bits and pieces that you've got out of that. So, oh, I thought I dropped it. Finish it off. A little bit of salad, mixed leaves. I don't need to worry about reducing that much more. If you're ever going to always dress salad leaves, give them a bit of flavour, but always do it at the last minute. Because as soon as the oil and everything hits it, it starts to cook. If you leave that for five minutes and come back, 
It's all down, the leaves have started changing colour. But the, the most important thing with this whole dish is the quality of the meat that you used to start with. You can't, cooking's not magic. It's not magic. If you've got a, a product which is not up to scratch, to start with, cooking it's not going to make any difference. It's going to be the same bad product you've ended up with. All the difference is you've cooked it. So you need a good quality product to, to go with it. Again, bit of presentation. Just because it looks good doesn't necessarily mean it tastes, it's going to be tasting good. But on the other hand, if it doesn't look good to start with, most people are not going to be impressed. We've got the bits and pieces there. And our tomato and our little garnish bit goes round the side. And again, if you're using it for entertaining, this is a dish that can be done beforehand. You know, it's in the fridge, all it needs to put done at the last minute. And I'm going to use a little bit Sorry? Yeah. And I'll just add a spot of this just for a bit of colour. Okay, do you want to put that in the front key? And there we have, I don't know what you want to call it actually, There's, it's like a beef carpaccio style of good local beef fillet done with uh, a nice uh, citrus salad, a citrus dressing with tomatoes and oranges.